What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Monster Hunter Now video with me, your boy, Jurassic Papi! And today, we are going to be diving straight into the details for the expected new March update for Monster Hunter Now. But, just so you're aware, there's gonna it's going to be definitely be game changing and there's going to be new weapons, some new armor, and even new monsters and maybe just maybe if we're lucky who knows i'm a little on the fence about it but we may be getting our a glimpse of our first elder dragon in the game so before we begin everybody leave a like comment down below share this video and feel free to subscribe let me know what you guys think and what you're most excited about for this upcoming update and what weapons you think will be introduced inside monster hunter now so let's get right into the details. So it's going to be a two-part Monster Hunter celebration, celebrating 20 years of Monster Hunter in general. Now, what this is going to contain is an increased spawns from the Black Diablo, the Pink Rathian, the Azure Rathlos, and the Berioth. I guess the Berioth is, said it was leaving. I guess it's not leaving. It's staying here for just the celebration. You know, make what you want with it. That's whatever. But it's going to be on March 4th at 9 a.m., through March 13th at till 11:59 p.m. This is awesome, okay? So it's just going to be a big cluster of awesome uh, subspecies monsters roaming around. And what an excellent time to just finish farming what you need to farm. Just try not to get too overwhelmed. Go for what you're initially going after and then everything else will just come into play, right? You come across them casually, knock them out, collect those resources, but keep going for what you guys are working on. Now let's talk about the rewards that we should be getting for the event quests. So we should be getting a biome reset every hour. And for the anniversary quests, some of the rewards are going to contain a, the Monster Hunter 20th anniversary medal, some rarity 5 items, which I kind of fingers crossed I hope there's also a Wyvern Gem Shard reward, but I feel like they would have advertised that first before they went into the rarity 5s. Fingers crossed though, you know, I'm a little optimistic and of course we should be expected to receive some Monster Bone Pluses, some Carpenter Bugs and Dragonite Ores and, you know, maybe our Earth Ores I think is what it's called. I actually forgot off the top of my head. Now let's move on to our favorite pup, the Zenogre. Now, the Zenogre should be and is expected to be a guarantee in every Hunathon point in the game. So just like when it was first released, you pro most likely will find it in every single Hunathon that you come across. Now, the armor itself is okay. There's some things you can take away from it. As for the weapons, they are better than the current Thunder weapons in the game. But with that being said, it is kind of a grind to get what you need for it, especially since it's only accessible through Hunathons. But we will have a couple extra tickets rewarded to us through Quality's event. I can't remember really off the top of my head how many, but I think it was five in total, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, guys, please feel free to correct me down in the comments below. All right, and now we're gonna move on to some of the coin cells or cells in general that they will have for this part one celebration or for the entire celebration. Now, if you are a spender, starting March 1st at midnight through April 1st at 11.59, you, you will be able to purchase a bundle that contains five potions, two Hunathon tickets, and 3,300 gems. Now, I'm hoping that this is like a $30 evaluation, but you know, knowing them, they might push it up to $50. I hope it doesn't go to 100 because then it'd kind of be scummy to be honest. And now, starting March 4th at midnight through April 1st, they'll also have another bundle that's gonna contain 10 potions four paintballs, and two special carving knives. So they usually kind of do the in-store offer as well, but I'm not sure if one's going to be purchasable only through cash or, you know, card or whatever, but the other one's going to be through gems exclusively. I'm not sure yet, but they do that a lot. Now, before we move on to the part two celebration information, I just wanted to make a couple things clear. And the first thing is that the information I have containing the new monsters and the weapons is through data mines, which I did not do. 
and I don't really know who the original poster is because I saw kind of the same information flying around through groups such as like Facebook and X and uh, sorry Discord and even the what else what's the other one um, Reddit but so some of this thing you know they might not come to pass they could just be files inside the game right now that may be you know for use maybe within this mid update or something like that which they tend to like kind of release certain things but so for now you know take everything with a grain of salt and as we move on some of these things might not be coming out for this update until we get further notice now for part two the vernal invasion i don't really know what vernal means you know i kind of googled certain things here and there but it kind of just generally speaking about spring and the springtime season but it could just be a monster that's coming that has to do with you know spring-esque things maybe i don't know really you know it's under speculation but let me know what you guys what your thoughts are down below but on march 13th at midnight there's going to be a major update with new mon mons and new weapons and i say that plurally new weapons that's what the notes had I know there's a leak already with for one, there might be another just like they did for the dual blades and the lance, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. Now, some of the monsters that are expected to drop in the near future, and the, again, these are just leaks, but it's gonna be everybody's favorite uh, pickled body, no leg having Devil Joe. And this monster is going to be a dragon element, which may be filling in some gaps and lack thereof dragon weapons in the game. The next one is going to be the Odogeron. And this monster usually it tends to bleed its opponents and it's pretty quick on its feet like the Great Giros. And what other one? Uh, the Tobi Kodachi. Yeah, like that. Now... The next one is the subspecies, which is expected to drop, and that is going to be the Coral Puke Puke, which is water element, surprisingly enough. So that'll be a nice little boost to what we currently have, which are very all right, not that great water weapons, I would say. So overall, two out of four, you know, requiring an element five boosted ice weapon isn't all too bad, especially if you already have one built whether by Baryoff or Legiana. So one of the weapons that was currently leaked in Monster Hunter now is going to be the Charge Blade. Now this weapon is extremely rewarding, pretty difficult to use, at least in Iceborne. I'm interested to see what the mobile version is going to be like, but it's essentially a sword and shield that turns into a giant axe. And it, it's amazing, like the animations and transformation is awesome. It's well done, at least in Monster Hunter Iceborne or World. Now, I am going to show some footage on some of the gameplay for it. It doesn't mean that it's going to be the same on the phone, but it'll kind of get you into the idea of kind of some things to expect when you're using the Charge Blade. Now, the Charge Blade is normally a sword and shield weapon, but the bread and the butter, the meat and potatoes, the peanut butter and jelly, the juxtaposed, juxtaposition, incongruent, vis-a-vis, -vis, uh, ditto, uh, vis-a-vous is going to be the amp element discharge weapon that comes by building the axe portion of the sword and shield. Now, ideally, in order to get the maximum amount of damage when it comes to this weapon is to... Mm, charge your files go into the axe mode in combo and then unleash a devastating elemental discharge blow but all the other combos kind of come with it the interesting thing that i'd like to know is how this is going to be converted into a mobile version and i'm kind of wondering if maybe the last final super amped element discharge move is going to be a special only and not something that you can just simply perform by doing your combo wombos on a monster. That's what I'm interested to see. I, regardless, I'm going to build this weapon. It's not my absolute favorite, but it's definitely probably number one. or It's definitely number two, or at least number two or three for sure. 
but moving on to the last portion kind of a surprise that i put to the end because i'm a little skeptical and on the fence about the decision that they're making introducing this final monster in the game or sorry not final monster in the game but the final monster that they're introducing that's kind of a big deal is more like i should put it and that is going to be a mistake my fault i completely forgot to bring this up as well and in the data mine they had armor files for our fellow palico so i'm not sure if it'll just be like a customizable thing maybe they'll be in the fight as well who knows uh that's all up in the air just saying it was in the data mine not necessarily in the official notes for the game this might just be like a future thing here in the next couple of months we'll just have to wait and see to be honest with you but the final one is going to be the elder dragon kushala daora let's go or hang on now how about what if we slow down just a little bit okay i am excited about having an elder dragon just like everybody else but i do feel like this would be premature if this game if the elder dragon actually comes out already with this next update i think it's kind of like a wasted opportunity for what can be something really huge for the actual one year anniversary of monster hunter now that's just my opinion but i you know and i'm of course i'm welcoming to the idea of getting the first elder dragon i just think it's like a big wasted opportunity but I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to leave it like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That's going to be the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Guys, I'm working on a ton of more content for this game coming up here in the next couple of days. Feel free to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.